basic intro to Microsoft Excel 365. Hi everyone, this is Deborah Sable and I'm going to show you just some basics about Excel. Microsoft Excel 365 to be specific. Okay, on my screen I have a blank Excel spreadsheet. And as you can see, um, across the top you have a ribbon just like in Microsoft Word and lots of different uh, tabs. You know, there's the Home tab, the Insert tab, Page Layout tab. But of course, the tools and, and buttons and menus they have in Excel are uh, somewhat different than the ones from Word. There are some similarities. There are some uh, menus and features that are the same, but a lot of them are quite different. So let's just look at the Home ribbon right now. and. Um, Parts of the screen are pretty basic. It's a sort of a um, columns and rows, all right? The columns are vertical and they are labeled with the alphabet. And the rows are horizontal, going left to right, and they are labeled with numbers. Now where a column and a row meet, that is called a cell. And it's very, very much like a table in Word, similar kind of thing. And the cells, each cell has a name. And the name of the cell is uh, the column letter followed by the row number. So in this case, this particular cell right here is cell D5. And if you're not sure where your currently active cell is, uh, you can just look up here in the upper left corner to the name box, and it tells you where the cell is that you're currently um, clicked on. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go into cell A1, and I'm going to show you that you can type a number or you can type a word. You can type uh, anything, actually, in, in these cells. So right now, I'm going to just um, put in some numbers. And when you type something, when you press the Enter key, it, uh, the active cell moves down to the next cell down. Okay, so uh, I have a, a column of numbers and if I want to do something really basic like add them up quickly, um, all I have to do is uh, click into the cell that I want to show, where I want to show the total. Okay, in fact I'll even just type the word total here and then click back to cell A8. And there is something called a function that you can uh, select that will instantly add up all the numbers. It's called the sum function, S-U-M, sum. And to find it, it's on the Home tab, okay, and it's over here in the editing area. So if I click editing, it offers me a bunch of different things I can do, but I just want sum or auto sum same thing. So I'm going to select that and look what happens over here when I did that. A lot of different things happened all at the same time. There are these little moving sort of animated dots going around the whole column of numbers. We call those marching ants. <laughs> okay and uh, and then below that it looks like some gobbledygook down here. That's actually called a formula. And the function that's in the formula is right here, S-U-M, okay? That means it's going to add up all of the numbers above, okay? And it did that automatically uh, because it just seemed like the logical thing for Excel to do. Excel does make some assumptions, okay? It assumes that I wanted to add up all of the numbers above where I had clicked. Okay, let me do that again. I'm going to erase everything in there. I'm going to click back into the empty cell A8. And nothing is selected up here. Notice there's no marching ants or anything else. And I'm going to go back over to the editing button and select auto sum. And watch what happens when I do that. Same thing happened again. Okay, it assumes I want to add up all the numbers above. And it, the formula is actually saying, gee, do you want to, do you want this cell to equal the sum of 
cells A1 through A7. And uh, I'm going to press enter because I want to say yeah. So I'm just going to press enter to accept that formula. And so it did. And here is the answer. The total of all these numbers is 2,882. And look up here. This is called the formula bar. This bar shows you if the cell that you're currently clicked in, if it's if the active cell that you're in right now has a formula, it'll show up here in the formula bar. So you don't have to guess whether something has a formula or not. Like if I click into the cell above that, there's no formula. It's just the number I typed. Okay, and that'll show up in the formula bar too, but it's just a number. If I click back into the formula uh, cell that has a formula, then it's showing me what that formula is. Okay, and uh, it, there's no comma, there's no dollar sign or anything like that. You can make that choice by going into this uh, number area here. If you want it to show like a dollar sign or a percentage or, you know, do you want it to show looking like a, just a regular number or currency? I mean, there's all these different choices you can make about how you want your numbers to look. I'm not going to get into that directly. Okay, so you know how to do the auto sum function, okay? So now let's try something different. I'm going to erase, delete what's in cell A8. Okay, I'm going to erase the word total. And let's say for some reason I want to put the total of this, these column, this column of numbers. I don't want the total to be just below them. I want it to be somewhere else in a different cell. So let's say I want it to be in cell D5 for some reason. So I can put the formula anywhere I want. Now if I were to click into the cell D5 and then go to editing and choose auto sum, again, you know, it's going to make an assumption that this is what I want to add. Well, there's only, first of all, there's only one number there, number six. And second of all, it, it's asking me, oh, do you want to add number six to anything else that's horizontal? No, I don't want to do that. So I'm, I'm going to delete that or backspace, you know, I'm going to erase all that. I don't want that. What I want to show here in D5 is the total of all these numbers, not just the number six. So that means I need to tell Excel what to add up. Okay, so there's something really important for you to remember about Excel, and that is that whenever there's going to be a formula in a cell, whether you type it in or whether you click it in, it always starts with an equal sign. Always. And that's because what you're saying is this cell, what's inside of this cell, is going to equal blah, 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 whatever the formula is. So in this cell, I want it to equal the sum of all these numbers. So I can just type the function sum. And as I do that, Excel offers me a menu, a shortcut menu of possible functions that I might want to choose from. Well, the only function I'm interested in is sum. And it happens to be at the top right here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on sum. And that puts the function in, and it also puts in a parenthesis, an open parenthesis. And that's important because I want it to, I want Excel to know where the numbers are located. And Excel will only know that if you have those numbers, or rather not the numbers themselves, but the cells that they are in. You need, you got to have those cell names inside parentheses and then it will recognize that. So the first cell that I'm going to use uh, or add, start adding up is cell A1, whatever's in A1. So I'm going to type A1. Okay. And then what I want to do is say, okay, I want to start with A1, but I want to add up everything through A8. So Excel recognizes the word through by a colon. So I'm going to type a colon and then I'm going to type A7. I thought it was A8. It's A7. Okay. And when I did that, 
it expanded over here the selection the grayed out selection expanded to include all of the cells I want to add up so I'm adding a1 through a7 now to finish the formula what do you think I have to do if you said I had to type I have to type a closed parentheses you would be correct now all I have to do to lock it in and make it work is press enter and there it is there is the total for these columns of numbers right there and if I click into that active cell d5 there uh, in the formula bar it's showing the formula once more so uh, that's how you can put uh, formulas and things anywhere in the spreadsheet. They don't have to go right below the column of numbers or if you have a row of numbers it doesn't have to go directly to the right of those numbers. You can put answers and, and uh, formulas anywhere you want in a spreadsheet. Okay let's try one other thing. I'm going to show you one more thing. Alright let's say in this cell G2 I want to type a formula that does not have a function in it. No function. Okay, there's a difference between a formula and a function. A function is typically one little symbol or word, like SUM for sum, that's a function. And the function can fit into a formula. A formula, however, is made up of different things, including sometimes a function. So uh, right now I'm going to type a formula that has no function. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to always start with, remember what we always start with when we're doing a formula? If you said an equal sign, you would be correct. So we start by typing an equal sign. So I want this cell to equal um, oh, I don't know, 378 plus 109. How about that? There's no function. It's just basic arithmetic, okay, basic math. So I'm going to now press the Enter key and watch what happens. Okay, it gave me an answer. This cell is showing what the answer is, 487. How do I know what the formula is? Well, again, go up to the formula bar and look. Okay, I told Excel that I want this cell, G2, to show the answer to 378 plus 109. And because it's a formula, it starts with an equal sign. So that's how you can type a simple formula without a function. There's lots of different formulas you can type without functions. Uh, you can do any kind of basic math, ad addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You can do uh, advanced math. You can do all kinds of uh, things in here that you want to do in a spreadsheet. You can figure out what your loan payments should be. There's all kinds of things that Excel can do for you. But really, I just wanted to show you the most basic functions of Excel so that you kind of get a sense of how a spreadsheet can work.